And now new at six, the League of Women Voters heard from the Greater Rochester Arts and Cultural Trust as well as a local author on a new project to memorialize a historic female figure here from the Mid-City. KIMT News 3's Maureen Dudley went to the meeting to find out what this new project is about. The group learned about a historical woman in Rochester who's being memorialized as a statue at some point in the near future. The Greater Rochester Arts and Cultural Trust, Mayor Norton, and historian Virginia Wright Peterson are working together to put up a statue of Amelia Hatfield Witherstein with the help of artists Gilly and Mark. We like the idea of uh, finding someone that is historical, that was had a great impact on the community, and the fact that she was the first woman elected to the Rochester School Board, the first woman elected to an office in the city of Rochester. We find that very important and very interesting. According to both Peterson and Hickey, they had to do a lot of research to find information on Witherstein. Witherstein was elected to the school board in 1911, then was the school board president from 1914 to 1923, before women had the right to vote. The plan is to put a bronze statue of Witherstein in Central Park. I feel it's a good thing. I think that it's important for young girls to see themselves in statues as well as men. And I think it's good that we're working on this. I think it's a good thing to do. The cost of the project is estimated to be around $75,000. And the League of Women in Rochester has donated a little over $1,000 to the cause. They tell me this project is important to increase the representation of women in the Med City. In Rochester, Maureen Dudley, KIMT News 3. And if you would like to donate to support the building of the statue, information will be on our website at KIMT.com. Just look for the story.